Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. If you like this type of content, you might as well hit that subscribe button. In this video, I will show you the quickest way to spot a Youth Academy star. Now, the first thing you want to be looking at is the overall range. The higher of the two numbers should be at least 70, and then you need to look over at the potential range. And again, the highest of these numbers needs to be 94. Once you've ticked those two boxes, the next thing you want to be looking at is the player value. Now, personally, I don't accept any Youth Academy players with a value under 900k. A value has three contributing factors, those being age, overall rating, and potential combined. So for example, a player who is the same age and has the same overall will have a higher value if their potential is higher. So players with a 60 overall will have a value between 600k and 1.1 million. 61 is 700k and 1.4 million. 62 is 775k to 1.7 million. And in this example, he's a 15 year old with a value of 775k. He has an overall of 62, but his potential range is not too good. Whereas his next example, his 15 years of age, has a value of 1.7 million. He has the same overall, but his potential range is far higher. Players with an overall of 63 will have a value between 850k and 2.1 million. We see a 17 year old here with a value of 1.1 million. His overall is 63, but again his potential range is not brilliant. Whereas the next example has an overall of 2.1 million, he's also 17 years of age. He has the same overall of 63, but his potential is far higher. Players with an overall of 64 will have a value between 1 million and 2.6 million. 65 will be 1.4 to 2.8 million. 66 will be 1.7 to 3.4 million. And Youth Academy players with an overall of 67 and above can have a value as high as 5 million. The highest value I got for examples for this video was 3.9 million, and the player went on to have an overall of 69. So putting all that in practice, looking at the players returned in the scout report, I'm only interested in one. First noticing that his overall range is as high as 77, his potential range is as high as 94, and his value is 3.7 million, meaning I knew it was going to have an overall of around 67 or 68. And there was also a very strong possibility it would turn out to have potential to be special. Moving on to another scout report, and again, there's only one player I'm interested in, his overall range is high as 78 and his potential range between 82 and 94, a value of 3.1 million, indicating he'd have an overall around 66 or 67. And again, a strong possibility it would end up with potential to be special. Left both players in the academy for a couple of months working on development plans and their potential range narrowed even further, indicating even more strongly that they would both have potential to be special. Which was confirmed when I promoted them both through to the senior side. Both had potential to be special, meaning their potential would reach at least 91+. plus. So remember, overall range first, potential range second, value third. If you tick all three boxes, you have yourself a platinum Youth Academy star. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, but that does conclude today's video. All that remains to say is thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.